now playing at a small town theater. Big budget Hollywood movies presented by a film buff determined to defy the odds. Lee Cowan has saved us a seat. If you call the Firehouse Theater in Kingston, Washington. Star Wars will play Sunday at 12, 315, and that's a special costume show. You'll get a Keeping personal warm. message. See you at the movies. From the projectionist himself, Craig Smith. I walk into the grocery store here, and they ask me what's playing. <laughs> I'm a walking billboard, you know, marquee. <laughs> I'm the movie guy. Are you here for Little Women? That movie guy, okay. two of you, is also the ticket guy. Hey, enjoy the show. Thank you. The popcorn guy. And you said yes to butter, right? And in some cases, I'll get the door for you. He's even Thank the door you. guy. This isn't just well, a business to you, is it? Correct. It's a passion. At 65, Craig has loved movies his whole life. Going to the movies as a kid seemed like a turnstile to another world. Where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. I remember the first time I saw Gone with the Wind. I remember getting in trouble because I sat through it a second time. Where you were watched you? eight hours worth of Gone with the Wind? Yeah, yeah, I did. He became his high school soccer coach. We have to set up the Oscar party. He's also married to his high school sweetheart, Becky. Maybe the only thing he loves more than movies is her. Bye. All right, honey. So she wasn't surprised when about 10 years ago, he took a leap of faith and turned Kingston's old firehouse into its only movie house. It was risky. Kingston only has but 2,000 or so residents. It sits on the shores of Apple Tree Cove, just across Puget Sound from Seattle. It's known more for its ferry terminal than its downtown nightlife. But Craig persisted. So were there some raised eyebrows, though? Friends and family saying, are you sure you want to do this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you only always get that. But, you know, even if you fail, at least you tried, you know. Try, he did. You get a hug. <laughs> and succeeded, too. See you out at Albertsons. Right. Yeah. At least in making his movie house feel more like a home. This place is so special. It's just a cozy community theater that you don't find anymore. Little things matter in a little theater, like real butter on the popcorn. Freezing his junior mints for the real candy connoisseur. Welcome, everybody, to the Firehouse Theater. To and see greeting the audience in person. Show. Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. He comes in and gives you a little personal account of the history of the movie. He's got the Beatles and David Bowie singing their, some of their famous songs in German. Oh, my God. And how they made it, who the uh, actors are, actresses. And he does it for every it showing, even if the theater is practically while, empty. It's a great community service that he does for us, and I think it's hard for him to yeah. keep it open. That's the worst kept secret in town. This has got a, my life savings wrapped up in it. It's about a half a million dollars. Run out of money a few times and had to renegotiate a lease and use some credit cards. You know, you just keep plugging on. Just how Craig's movie it. margins were already as slim as the 35 millimeter film he used to run. Then Hollywood made him go digital. This is how movies are distributed these days, on hard drives. And the new projectors set him back years on his debt. And that was a choice of bankruptcy or not, to be honest. He even stopped taking a paycheck. And the stress soon took its toll. I did have a heart attack here. But you were at work? Yeah, I was up in the projection booth, not knowing I was having a heart attack. He came back to work after that probably earlier than he should have. And word soon got around. People are saying when you go, you need to buy popcorn, you need to buy hot dogs. Two hot dogs? Two hot dogs, OK. And a glass of wine. You need to do everything to support him. Thank you. Fans of the firehouse aren't about to let it go up in smoke. They've just set up a GoFundMe page and organized volunteers to help behind the counter. It was instantaneous. We had a bunch of folks really interested right away, and it just sort of blossomed after that. If Craig ever thought his little theater didn't matter. Oh, my word. His 
watch what happened the day he hosted a Star Wars costume party. Uh-oh. Begin. <laughs> it was pleasantly chaotic. Here you go. Thank you. I can't hear a thing. The line was out the door. You already got your ticket? It's really touching. They're wonderful people. The movies are meant to be an escape, a chance to forget about our problems in the dark for a while. But for Craig Smith, his little movie house has proven that there are plenty of fairy tales off screen as well. They got a Frank Capra life here, you know? I get to do what I enjoy in life. You, you can't have it any better than that. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Firehouse Theater. I, it's a really nice life. Great costumes, everybody. Thanks so much for being part of this.